Well, as we've heard, the drama of Mr Bates versus the post office um, has really put this injustice under the spotlights. Yeah, here's a clip of Stockport's Will Mellor playing the role of Lee Castleton. Yeah, look at this. Look, look. Right, I've been through these a hundred times. I don't know, I haven't seen it before. Look. I'm going to have to talk to the school. 23rd of March, right, I'm logged in on Terminal 1. I put in the transaction and it shows up on Terminal 2. That should never happen. That's proof. It's proof there's something wrong with the system. Well, I'm delighted to say that Will and Lee are with us in the studio. A very warm welcome to you both. Thank, um, thank you. Lee, I get goosebumps watching that scene. My anxiety levels were building as I was watching that um, whole episode. Just give us a sense of uh, what it was like <laughs> for you watching that scene play out. It's surreal, isn't it? Because it's, you know, the facts in there, you know, it, and to see, it's odd just hearing someone called Lee Castleton on the TV anyway. But then to see Will doing what he's doing, it's just fantastic, really. It's, uh, and I'm very grateful, you know, I'm very, very grateful. Will, did you have any idea that um, this drama was going to have such a reaction? No, uh, I don't think anybody... We knew it would make a splash because it's, it's a true story. Um, and when we were doing the scenes, we, was, we were all doing the, the, the church hall scenes and we'd, we'd, we'd finish filming and we'd be like, can you believe they did this to these people? Yeah. And we had to keep reminding ourselves, this, this is true, this happened to people. So we knew it would land, but it, it's, it's, it's gone bigger than we could ever imagine. Um, and I'm, I'm glad it has because it's given people like Lee a voice. Um, and it looks like, you know, as you've seen what's happened today with Paula Venels, she's handing a CB in, that it is making a difference, but this is just the beginning, you know, and I'm just so proud to be involved with it, uh, and I'm glad it's landed with the, with the people, and I'm glad people are coming together. And, and Lee, I think what people really sort of drew from this, from this drama is that this was more than a case of just computer says no, this is real people, real lives that were being destroyed in real time. Just share with us a little bit, if you will, about your experience, the effect that this had on it your, on your family, for example. It was just a systematic crushing of families. You know, the, the, just a, a blatant, um, systematic smashing. And um, from the 23rd of March 2004, my family have suffered inexplicably. And um, they, they knew that this was going to happen to the people that went against anything with the Horizon system. They knew that how they would bring that about would cause so much duress and problems. So um, when you see your family, um, if you equate it to a handful of dry sand and you're just watching the, the single pieces of, fa of sand disintegrating between your fingers and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. And I think Will puts that into all the work that he's done there, that I was just completely and utterly unable to stop anything. And 20 years you've been living with this, you know, and, and then, you know, four hours of, of a, a drama has just thrown it into the spotlight now, hasn't it? I mean, what needs to happen now? We, it's just got to expedite matters. We've been waiting a very long time. Every every corner you turn, things become problematic. People get involved. More and more things seem to, to happen to block and stop the end. And, and everyone really deserves to come to a, to a final point where I, I don't even know what that looks like, whether that is everybody's sort of point of view. But for me, I, I just want it to finish, really. I'm quite happy just to go along and, and live my, the rest of my life and just quite happily not ever speak about post office again. Will, Will you've been a, a, an actor for a number of years now, you've done so many roles, um, how does this one portraying Lee compare? Uh, it's, it stands alone, it does, uh, because how, how can I compare this to a fictional drama or a comedy or an entertainment show that I've done, because this is real people and there is a responsibility when you play a real person because you just pray that you get it right. Um, and with this, I didn't meet Lee until we had the screening at BAFTA, uh, because it was, it's a tough one, you know, do I go and force the issue and then I don't want to drag him down memory lane when he's, he's been going through a lot. So I just wanted to try and play the truth and the honesty and, uh, and make sure people felt what these people were feeling. So it landed with the public. Um, and, and that was what was important. I just wanted to be truthful and honest and play the emotion right. Um, and yeah. like I said, it's okay reading about what happened to these people. When you see it, 
and you feel it. I think that's why it's landed with the people. And, and I, it just shows you what we, do in, we can do in this country when we come together and we stand as one and we go, this isn't right, justice needs to be done. Let's get these people their compensation that's deserved, their justice that's deserved. Stop kicking the can down the road and let's get it sorted. And, and it yeah. looks like the public have come together to help that happen. Well, well Lee, let's, go, let's hope you do get the questions um, that, that, that you, you're looking for answered. Mm. Um, thank you very much to you both for, for coming in. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank Congrats you. on the role. Um, no, no, thanks.